world's most awkward video. So today I am doing my favorites, and um, yeah, not a lot has happened in the month of July. Um, yeah, nothing really at all. Um, I did have one photo shoot, and if you follow me on Instagram, then you will have seen that. Um, if not, I will, well, my Instagram is linked somewhere on my page. Um, so you can always go and look at that. They're great photos and I'm working with the same photographer again this weekend, so I'm really excited for that. Um, but yeah, we'll just go ahead and get started. Okay, so starting out with hair, I am going to talk about my Paul Mitchell, what is this, Express Style Hot Off The Press um, Thermal Protecting Spray. I love this. I bought this because I was doing um, the Miss Philippines Fashion for a Cause Fashion Show and I didn't want to use my Tresemme one. So I bought this one and it, they only had it in the little can when I bought it, but I want to get like the big bottle. Um, this stuff I love and the reason I don't like my Tresemme one really is because it's too wet. It's like you spray it and you brush it through your hair and you have to wait for that to kind of dry. Um, cause I don't want to use like heat on wet strands of hair, but this one comes out in an aerosol instead of like a pump spray. So it like literally comes out in a fast shot and it smells so good. I don't, I mean, it smells like hair product, but it just smells so, 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 so good. And it's like people know the Paul Mitchell scent. So when I use this on my model, who is now also my friend, um, on the photo shoot on Saturday, that like she was like that's Paul Mitchell and is it and I was like yes so people know this scent and I like people knowing that I'm not using cheaper products on them like I mean probably doesn't matter but they probably like the nice fancy stuff but I just love this um, it was only I mean it was 750 for this bottle and I've probably used it five to ten times I can't really remember I've used it on a couple gigs and then all myself as well and I just really 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 love it so the second hair product that I have is this is the spectrum organic coconut oil and it's refined for medium high heat this is technically a well actually it's not technically a cooking product but it is cooking and hair and skin and I don't use it for cooking but I use it on my hair and I use it on my skin so what I like to do with this is I will section off my hair and by each section I will run some of this through it and then I'll comb through that section and then I'll pull down another section. Like if you were to straighten your hair, you section it off if your hair is thick like mine. Um, well, mine's not really thick, but getting off the topic. Um, so I'll section it off and I'll bring it through um, each strand of hair to make sure that it really saturates. And then I'll leave it on for an hour and then I'll wash it out and it just leaves my hair so, so silky smooth. It's less tangly when it's like this. Um, I love it even more when I use, after I put this in, I will um, use a deep conditioner in the shower instead of a normal conditioner. And it's just like the next day my hair is just so soft and has like no tangles in it. And I love, 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 love it. So for skin, I only have two products this month. The first one is the Josie Marin Argon Oil. I've probably mentioned this before. I use it on and off, um, but when I start to break out, I start um, to use, like, really use my Clarisonic and my cleanser. And then instead of using any other moisturizer, I just use my Josie Marin Argon Oil. And it really, I swear to you, I feel like it helps heal my breakouts. And it's also moisturizing my face at the same time. So that's really what I use this for. Or if I get exceptionally dry hands, which I have right now, so I've been using this. Um, just because I think I feel like it's really great. I just love this oil so 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 much, and um, you can get it in the little travel size bottle if you want to make sure you like it before you invest in the large one. I always just buy this one because I don't use it so often that I need to buy the large one. Anyway, so the second thing is actually self tanner, and this is the Fake Bake Flawless Self Tan Liquid Streak Free Easy Application. Um, comes with six fluid ounces comes in a bottle like this and it comes with a mitt and then it also comes with um, gloves too. I don't really know why. I guess some people might prefer gloves to a mitt. Um, but I love this. It gives you such, such a natural like self tan and I feel like the bottle of this lasts longer like 
than my San Tropez did. They give me the same kind of finish, but I feel like this one just goes a lot further. Not that they last longer on my skin, but it's just this goes further for me than if I used the San Tropez spray. Um, the mousse might last longer with San Tropez or the lotion might, but um, this one's cheaper, so we're going to go with Fake Bake, but I really, really love this. It's a great self-tanner even if you're pale like me. Okay, so for makeup, I will start off with lip products since that's what I have the most of. The first one is Lime Crime, and this is in Baybet. Ew. Um, I have wanted this since they started promoting for it, and I just absolutely love, love, love it. It's just such a pretty, pretty pink, and when they say that it's like Coquette's pinker, like cousin or whatever, they are really not lying. I have Coquette on now. And then I also have it topped with a NYX Butter Gloss that I'll be telling you about in a second. But I just love these lipsticks. They're like creamy, they're like pink, and ugh, I just, I can't say anything else about them. I mean, there's really not much to say about a lipstick other than, you know, if you like it. So, I love, love, love Baybet, even though that's kind of cheat, I've only had it for like five days. But it counts, because I got it in July. The next one is the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. These are really nice. I keep this in my um, school bag so I can just throw it on throughout the day because I don't like having nothing on my lips. I'm weird like that. But this has just the prettiest like natural color to it but it's also kind of nude. Um, I have it on over what I have on now but I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But I just love, love, love this and at felt, I think it was $4.99. You really can't beat it. And I don't buy lip glosses a lot, but I really want more of these ones. Okay, so the next thing is also from Lime Crime, and it is the Velveteen in Red Velvet. Okay, now here's the thing. I don't have a lot of red lip products. Like, other than this one, I probably have one other red lipstick, and it's from Maybelline. And here's another thing, is that I don't typically like matte lipsticks, and I usually hate liquid lipsticks. But I absolutely love this one. It lasts forever literally it will not come off until you start eating something and your food kind of has to be slightly greasy for it to even break down then and even then it still stains your lips so it's still super super pretty it's so weird though because I normally hate liquid lipsticks but I absolutely love this one I want them to come out with so many more colors and I will buy them all but this is just like the truest red ever and it's like you can put on one coat of it and it's like kind of more subtle and then you'll put on another coat of it, and then it's like dark. But I absolutely love, 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 love this. If you were on the fence about it, buy it. You will not regret it. I hate matte lipsticks usually. I have to have um, like some kind of balm over it. But with this one, I leave it exactly how it is, and it does not irritate me at all. Okay, so the next thing is a face product. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Fair. I really like this. I put it over my NARS concealer just to give me a little extra coverage and a little extra brightening. Um, but I feel like it keeps my concealer looking a little fresher throughout the day. And I really hate that when like, I feel like my um, concealer starts to gray out a little and it just doesn't look as pretty and it doesn't look as fresh and it starts to look dry. This keeps it from doing that longer. And so I will so the next thing, and I know that this is going to cause some controversy if you watch me a lot. Because I did mention in a recent video that I really didn't like this, but I gave it the benefit of the doubt and I started using it um, more and it is the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. I really, 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 really love this. Um, I feel like maybe not, it maybe doesn't live up to the type of the name, like it's not super extravagant, it's not super smoky or anything like that. But it is a great everyday mascara if you want your eyelashes to look nice and fluttery. And the last makeup product that I have is my NARS Laguna Bronzer. Um, I haven't been using this as much lately since I got my NARS Zen um, blush that I've been contouring with. And then I'll use my Chanel um, Universal Bronzer. But since I used this for my Demi Lovato Made in the USA makeup tutorial, I've just fallen in love with it. I'll just take this on a big fluffy brush and I'll just like fluff it around my face and down my neck a little and it just gives me a really nice bronzy glow. Um, I use the fluffy brush for it so it kind of diffuses the product a little bit better and it looks less placed so on me it doesn't look as like muddy or dirty or anything like that. It just looks nice and glowy. 
For books, I loved The Clockwork Princess from Cassandra Clare. I had read the other two books in this series um, months and months ago, and then I bought this when it first came out, but I hadn't read it up until I think I finished it a week and a half ago. Um, I, I love this series. I can't say anything bad about this series and about the Mortal Instruments City of Bones series, which is coming out on movie on August 21st or 23rd. I see different dates around, and I cannot wait because I love this series. So if you're looking for something really good and really captivating to read, I would go and pick up this series, and I would pick up the Mortal Instruments series as well. For music, I have absolutely been loving One Direction's best song ever best song ever, best music video ever. I absolutely love One Direction. I don't care what anybody thinks. I will geek out, fangirl out, don't care. I love One Direction and I'm not afraid to say it. I'm a directioner. So yeah, that is it for my favorites. I will see you guys next time with another video. Yeah, this is so awkward. I'm so sorry. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me today. Um, maybe it's because I just got home from school and I'm like, all over the place and I really want to clean up my apartment right now. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and let you guys go. I will see you with my next video. I don't know what it'll be or when it'll be, but hopefully soon. So I will talk to you all later. Love you.